The song by Survivor is a good fit for us today. The words begin, it's the eye of the tiger, it's the thrill of the fight, rising up to the challenge. Appropriate because everyone in town acquisition knows about the thrills that the job can bring and the challenges you sometimes face. My name is Zachary Misko, Executive Director of the HR Today Global HR Association. This afternoon, we are graced with the presence of some of the most talented, dynamic, and successful leaders in the field of talent acquisition and recruitment management. Thank you to our Talent Acquisition Leader of the Year Award sponsor, Cielo. Today, we celebrate talent acquisition as a key part of HR service delivery. Now more than ever, the ability to develop and deliver an effective talent acquisition strategy is imperative to survive. Candidate lifestyles have changed dramatically over recent years. Candidates and people in general are on the go more than ever and using technology in ways we never imagined. Social relevance, personalized experiences, and transparency in activities and communication are prevalent in the wireless, intercollaborated world we live in. The days of help wanted signs and new newspaper job ads have evolved, and now people with media power and large advertising budgets are competing against no or low-cost methods, like a blog or a webcam, to post information. And while social media and technology allow speed to market and new avenues engage with people, traditional methods and the art of networking are still relevant and important components today. A lot of people are talking, and these finalists are the people the candidates and the companies they work for are listening to. Don't believe me? Listen to these two numbers, 73,944. That's the number of people that this group of finalists hired last year, 73,944. Second number I have for you, $68,922,000. That's how much money they have saved their company through a variety of best practices and process efficiencies. $68,922,000. Nice job. If you think it's hard running a recruitment department, try running dozens of them. Cielo is one of the fastest growing recruitment process outsourcing and talent management consulting firms in the world. With global capabilities and true vertical expertise in a variety of industries, including healthcare, Cielo is one of the top rated firms on the HRO Today magazine, RPO Baker's Dozen Customer Satisfaction Survey. And speaking as someone that people are listening to, I'd like to welcome the founder and CEO of Cielo to the stage. Sue Marks has been a pioneer in the field of RPO and is always at the forefront of RPO innovation. Sue started Cielo about 10 years ago as Pinstripe, which changed its brand to Cielo three years ago. She has overseen one of the fastest growing businesses in HR services and technology. Sue certainly was ahead of her time with the RPO service models, use of social media, and integration of technology. When it comes to recruitment, Sue has what it takes to be successful in town acquisition. And I know this for a fact, as she not only introduced me to RPO, but she also hired me about 15 years ago. So I'm glad to see you're still hiring great people, Sue. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Sue Marks. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Zachary. Uh, so who was at the dinner last night? Almost everybody. Who was at the breakfast this morning? A few of you. So you're going to hear the punchline of what I started to talk to you about this morning now at the luncheon. So it really is a privilege for CLO to sponsor this event. We get to work with so many great talent acquisition leaders and teams across the world, as do all of the other competitors in our space. So it's really special for us to be able to recognize um, 20 of the best, and then I think, Zachary, ultimately three winners in three categories. So thank you all for all you do. Uh, I've got a few numbers for you. 
almost three quarters of a million, that's the number of employees that the 20 companies represented here today have. And it was how many hires last year? 69,000 or? Yeah. 74,000? There are almost 20,000 openings on your websites today. So I guess if you think about a 60 to 90 day time to fill, that probably shows that you're busier this year than you were last year. Uh, but, but before talking about talent acquisition, I want to talk just a little bit about HR. And I opened up the breakfast this morning by asking the group, how many of you are old enough to remember the Fast Company magazine, Why We Hate HR? There's got to be a few, right? OK, I see a few of you in there. So that was in August of 2005. In June of 2010, they published an article saying why we shouldn't hate HR. Then in May of 2015, Welcome to the new HR. And then finally, as a reference to our dinner last night and the chief HR exec from Cisco, we have, everybody knows HR is broken, here's how to fix it. And that was just a month ago, April 4th, 2017. But we're not here to talk about HR, we're here to talk about talent. And what every one of those articles, including, including the infamous August of 2005, Why We Hate HR article, Every one of them talked about the importance of talent. Here's a quote from that 2005 article. In a knowledge economy, organizations with the best talent win. HR needs to be making the most of our human resources. Finding the best hires, nurturing the stars. No, nurturing everybody. Fostering a great work environment and culture and be joined at the hip to the business strategy. I'm happy to say in most organizations that really is the case today. And so we've come a long way in the, um, in the time, what is it, 12 years since August of 2005. There really is a renaissance for talent acquisition professionals, which is everybody in this room. So thank you again for all you do for culture, strategy, people, and talent, because talent is the only true sustainable competitive advantage. So on with the rest of the show. Thank you, Sue. Let me tell you a little bit about the award program and uh, how the nominees were determined. The award program is managed by the editorial team of HRO Today with the advice of some outside experts. Next year, we will ask today's winners to join the team as judges, and we hope the winners will be back next spring to turn the awards over to the 2018 winners. We received over 50 nominations, and the process of getting down to just 20 finalists was a great challenge. I want to thank the HRO Today editorial and research team for their support in making this happen. Detailed information about each finalist and their nomination will be available on our website. Congratulations to all of our finalists. I also want to congratulate the talent acquisition teams at all of these companies that make it possible for the executives to stand for these kinds of awards. The support and the commitment of executive leadership and the hard work of the recruiters makes this possible. You will learn more about each of our finalists in videos that were submitted, and I will announce the winners of our 2017 Talent Acquisition Awards, as Sue said, in three categories, not-for-profit, for-profit, and our innovation leader. I will do that after lunch is served and you have finished your salads. So I will now let you take a quick, short break. We'll clear salads, serve the entrees, and I'll be back up to announce the winners after lunch. Thank you. Our first category in the program this evening the Nonprofit Talent Acquisition Leader of the Year. Nonprofits have the challenge we all face within recruitment, as well as our own special funding and mission oriented challenges. Please stand and remain standing when I call your name. And, audience, please save your applause until I've announced the four finalists in this category Julian Campion, Vice President of Talent Management, Geisinger Health System, Valerie Egan, Town Acquisition Leader, 
Girl Scouts of America. Jeff Jernak, Town Acquisition Manager, Health First. And Carol Robinette, VP of Talent Management, American Red Cross. Congratulations to our 2017 not-for-profit finalists. <laughs> Let's roll the videos of these finalists. It is an honor to share a little bit about my experience working with Julie. Uh, having had the opportunity to uh, work with hospitals and health systems around the country, it is rare to find a leader of Julene's caliber. Uh, Julene is one of those that understands it is the individuals on her team that make her and Geisinger a world-class organization. Through Julene's leadership, she builds great relationships and, and through that breaks down the business and organizational silos that allows her to get more done with less in a better way. Uh, she's a master at putting people in the right place to be successful while having the bigger picture and uh, the greater good in, in the back of her mind. Uh, Julian, it is an absolute awesome opportunity to work with you and your team, and we here at Town Plus look forward to achieving great things for years to come. Hi, I'm Shagun Bansal, and I'm nominated Valerie Egan for the Talent Acquisition Leader of the Year Award. Valerie is a driven, motivated professional, and she has been able to bring a transformational change when it comes to the talent acquisition at Girl Scouts of the USA. She overcome challenges, she took risk. When she started, it was a very um, old, ancient system that was being used, but she was able to transform it into something modern, something efficient, and something that works. So I think she truly deserves this award. Thank you. one walk into a decentralized nonprofit comprised of more than 20,000 employees and 350,000 volunteers and effectively centralized talent acquisition. This was the conversation I had with Carol Robinette in 2011 when she took the reins of managing talent for the American Red Cross. Fast forward to today and you find a high-functioning, collaborative, state-of-the-art, centralized talent department. Pretty amazing, right? So is the respect and admiration of Carol's staff who have shared these sentiments. She somehow finds a way to bring people together to focus on completing initiatives and delivering bottom line results. She gives me the runway to be successful. Carol has truly transformed talent acquisition and she's the epitome of the Red Cross internal brand. Sleeves up, hearts open, all in. And the talent leader of the year nonprofit Award 217 goes to Carol Robinette, Vice President of Talent Management, American Red Cross. <clears throat> Please join me in the stage, Carol. <clears throat> With more than 20,000 employees and 350,000 volunteers, the American Red Cross workforce is committed to changing the world one community at a time. To do this, Carol and her team hire 8,000 people each year continue to decrease time to fill, while increasing the hiring manager satisfaction and candidate experience. Congra congratulations, Carol. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, um, well, to say I'm shocked is an understatement, but um, thank you all very much, HR Today, Christine, who did that fabulous video, so thank you. Um, but I just, I guess I just want to say two things. Number one, uh, my whole career has been about relationships, and I think all of you, whether you're in HR or talent specifically, that's what it's about. <laughs> so um, people come and go, but those common threads continue to sustain us. And um, certainly for the organization I work for at the American Red Cross, relationships and helping people is what it's all about. Um, and as far as thinking about this award, it's really just, do one thing, just keep moving forward. It may be baby steps. In nonprofit particularly, I'm sure 
those of you who are nonprofit and in the <clears throat> and we're up for this award probably say the same thing. You can't do everything. We don't have the money, time, or people, but just do one thing and keep moving forward. So I wish that for all of you as well. Thank you very much. The next category is the Talent Acquisition Leader of the Year for Profit category. While well, reviewing nominations and interviewing our finalists it is not only the stories of how they have succeeded at their companies, but how they have succeeded in their own careers. While they didn't all begin their careers in talent acquisition, the road to success and the career they would come to love wasn't always obvious. One finalist began his career in an orange juice factory, but got canned because she couldn't concentrate. <laughs> <clears throat> Another tried initially to be a tailor, but he just wasn't suited for it, mainly because it was a so-so job. <laughs> we have a finalist who started his career in a muffler factory, but found it to be exhausting. <laughs> and lastly, one individual wanted to be a barber, but just couldn't cut it. Kidding, but seriously, we are glad these finalists are in the jobs they have, regardless of how they got here or where they started. Now please stand and remain standing as I call your name and hold your applause until I've announced all of the finalists. The nominees for Town Acquisition Leader of the Year for Profit are Paul Abrams, Corporate Vice President, Town Acquisition, Huron Consulting Group. Ryan Alexander, Director of Talent Acquisition, Teneco. Matt Blunt, Vice President of Global Talent Acquisition, FTI Consulting. Megan Holt, Director of Corporate and Executive Sourcing, Hilton Worldwide. Bill Neese, Vice President, Talent Acquisition, Paycor. Megan Ryan, Corporate Director, Talent Acquisition, Seminal Gaming. Kristen Terry, Director, Talent Acquisition, Center of Excellence, Cox Enterprises. Jennifer Toth, Talent Acquisition Manager, Acadia Pharmaceuticals, Inc. And Katie Treviglia, Recruitment Head, North America Operations, U.S. New American Funding. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2017 for-profit nominees. And now the videos that tell their story. Paul Abrams' leadership has significantly optimized Huron's recruiting function across all aspects of campus and executive hiring. His demeanor, collaborative approach, leadership savvy, great coaching and agility are key traits that have continued to provide dividends to Huron. He's not afraid of change and embraces challenges with ease and command of his areas of expertise. Paul's passion towards helping others extends way beyond Huron. For the past three years, he has been on the board of the Society of Talent Acquisition and Recruitment in Chicago and currently leads the Professional Development Committee. I am grateful to have Paul as our talent acquisition leader and extremely proud of his accomplishments. Internal talent acquisition was a brand new concept for Teneco. Ryan's team has helped us save several million dollars in fees, as well as cut our cost per hire in half, all within the first six months. Ryan started a collaborative talent acquisition excellence project with his team, where he created subgroups to focus on things such as employee referral programs, social media projects, diversity initiatives, skilled trades recruiting, and military recruiting. The team works extremely collaboratively and they really seem to enjoy working with Ryan. Hi, I'm Holly Paul and I am overjoyed to nominate Matt Blunt for this wonderful award. Matt joined FTI Consulting about two years ago and at a time when we were fundamentally changing our business strategy from one focused on growth, focused on acquisitions, to moving to a growth strategy focused on organic growth by bringing people in and hiring them and developing and promoting them through the organization. 
As many of you know, a company with an organic growth strategy cannot succeed without outstanding recruiting. I hired Matt having experienced his great leadership and knowledge and asked him to lead this change and transformation of recruiting to support this new business strategy. Matt's been with FTI, as I said, about two years, and in that time, he's accomplished more than most leaders can accomplish in five years. He's upgraded the talent on the recruiting team and brought in many people from his own vast network. He's reorganized them and created scorecards to drive the right values, the right behaviors, as well as drive high performance. He developed a completely new strategy and approach for campus recruiting that has earned much success at FTI. He's developed a candidate-centric recruiting process and rolled that out globally across our vast network. And he's implemented systems and process to support all of this and, in, and also support our significant increase in hiring needs. And he did all of this while earning the trust and respect of FTI's leadership, as well as a loyal following from his team, even in the face of massive change and transformation. Matt has a deliberate approach to change management, and he continues to persevere in the face of many obstacles. His approach is always respectful and collaborative, and this style earns him the trust and gives him the opportunity to drive change and convince others to move in a direction. Matt is a huge asset to FTI. He's recognized as a leader that has helped transform FTI's strategy toward organic growth and put us on the path that we're on now to double-digit EPS growth. I couldn't be more pleased to nominate Matt for this award. Good afternoon. Within a very short amount of time and stepping into a brand new role within the business, our nominee has contributed key SLAs to a brand new sourcing model implemented only this past year within her organization. She thoughtfully has invested time and mind share in listening to her own team's ideas around continuous improvement, acting then as a catalyst, carrying those ideas forward and putting them into motion swiftly. She has challenged and inspired those of us working around her so that we all together become more successful. Her collaborative spirit, coupled with her operational savvy, have really been remarkable to witness. It's with great pleasure that I introduce to you our uh, nominee and finalist for HRO Today's Talent Acquisition Leader of the Year, Megan Holty. I'm Karen Crone, Chief Human Resource Officer for Paycor, and I nominated Vice President of Talent Acquisition, Bill Neese. In a high growth technology company like Paycors, it's essential that we stay ahead of the talent curve. And Bill does an exceptional job of partnering with our business unit leaders to anticipate their talent needs. He really works with them on an 18 month forward look at the types of talent they need, the geographies they want to be in, and really the types of skills that are getting hot in the market. He's an exceptional advisor to the business leaders on their talent, and he's exceptional at helping us pace our growth. It's a real pleasure for me to nominate Megan Ryan for this award tonight. Megan is a Florida State Seminole graduate who now works for the Seminole Tribe of Florida. What a great fit. She brings an energy, an intelligence, and an integrity to her work. She not only knows how to find people who are qualified for the job, but she actually knows how to find people who are a great fit for the culture. She's helped us with hiring process, with panel interviews, peer hiring. She gets our best frontline employees involved in the process and the results have been spectacular. Meg, we're proud of you. Good luck tonight. Kristen is responsible for our center of excellence. She came into our organization when CTA was just an idea and she really built it from the ground up. She's really a subject matter expert on a lot of subjects. Kristen's approach to talent acquisition is unique because she's coming from a consulting environment. She is a champion for excitement and energy. She has a very unique talent that I've only seen two other times. And two of those other people are all senior VPs in global companies now. Eventually, I'll report to her. We nominated Jen Toth as she is a true partner to our company. She really is the true definition of knowledge, support, and partnership. If you really want to know what Acadia is all about, ask Jen. Jen really understands our culture. She understands how to sell the company as well. After meeting over 60 candidates in the course of just a couple of days, she made a point to meet and speak with every single candidate. As soon as we got to the, the hotel that we were going to meet them for training, she came out and said, Jamie, and just gave me a huge hug right away. I love Jen. <laughs> Our team is better because of Jen and her partnership with us. She's Princeton One's biggest advocate, and I know it drives my team to go above and beyond every day. Hi everyone, my name is Natalie. And I'm Allie, and we're two of Katie's employees who work very closely with her in the talent acquisition portion of the Human Resources team. We were so excited to hear that Katie was nominated for Talent Acquisition Leader of the Year, and we couldn't think of a more deserving person for this award. 
Katie leads by example, rolling up her sleeves and never asking us to do anything that she wouldn't do herself. Her drive and ambition motivates the whole staff to be the best that we can be. As you know, attracting top talent is one thing, but retaining them is definitely another. Employee retention initiatives start on day one, but here at New American Funding, those initiatives never end. Not only that, but to get those great employees in the door, depending on the time of year, we offer different incentives to our current and prospect employees. Some of those incentives include bonuses and gift cards. Katie works hard to get the talent acquisition team together on a weekly basis and talk about their struggles and challenges, but she's also there to encourage and motivate. Katie supports the staff and gives accolades when earned. She understands that they're motivated by recognition of hard work. These weekly meetings are essential to cultivating and maintaining a solid team environment. All of this would not be possible without Katie as our fearless leader. Congratulations to you, Katie, for being nominated. We hope you win big. You deserve it. Difficult choice, isn't it, folks? And the 2017 for-profit Town Acquisition Leader of the Year winner is Kristen Terry, Director, Town Acquisition, Center of Excellence, Cox Enterprises. <clears throat> With company revenues exceeding $20 billion and approximately 60,000 employees, hiring more than 17,000 new employees each year is no small task. Increasing their social media presence, moving to a shared service model, developing a data warehouse to collect and analyze the data captured through the COE's systems and processes, and demonstrating a $9 million cost avoidance through outsourced recruitment is just the tip of the iceberg for Kristen and the team, the TA team at Cox Enterprises. Congratulations, Kristen. Uh, what an honor to be nominated amongst so many talented leaders. So thank you guys so much for this recognition. Um, I will say it's just a testament to uh, my team. Cox has been on a three-year journey to really transform the way we look at talent acquisition and talent within our company. And um, the talent acquisition team there shows up every day uh, with new ideas on how to move us forward. And they've really built an innovative, consolidated recruiting um, organization from the ground up and they know that that journey never ends because it's really a struggle to stay competitive when we have so many amazing talented people upping their game all the time so um, just a huge testament to the team and the work and the um, transformation they've done and to our uh, strategic vendors who've been part of making that journey possible so thank you guys so much appreciate it Our final category is the talent acquisition leader who best exemplifies the use of new approaches and new technology to ensure success. Finalists, please stand and remain standing as I call your name. The 2017 talent acquisition leader of innovation finalists are Brendan Brown, Vice President of Global Talent Acquisition, LinkedIn. Barry Hirschman, Head of Talent Acquisition Americas, Lindy Group. Gregory Karanastasis, VP Global Head of Talent Acquisition, Pitney Bowes. Jill Larson, SVP Talent Acquisition, People Planning and Services HR at Cisco. Kathy Scarlett, Vice President of Talent Acquisition, BMO Financial Group. Michael Spear, Director, Talent Acquisition and Development, Gate Group Airline Solutions. Mika Thorson, Global Head of Talent Acquisition, IHS Market. And Kim Wells, Recruitment Head, North America Operations US, Atos. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a big round of applause for all of our TA <laughs> Innovation Leader finalists. And let's roll the videos to learn more about their story. We are so excited to have this opportunity to nominate Brendan for this award and see him get recognized as the TA leader here at LinkedIn. Uh, Brendan really is, has been a visionary for us, helping set the, the uh, aspirational goals of what we can accomplish and helping inspire us to, to meet those goals. And he's done a great job of building and scaling a TA roadmap, which has been the most collaborative process we've ever worked on as a team and has really driven people to want to achieve more here on our talent acquisition team. Hi, HRO attendees. 
My name is Maynard Venegas from the Lindy Group, where I lead the human resources operations for the Americas. My team provides pretty much everything from hiring through retirement services. In this role, I work very closely with Barry Hirschman, and I'd like to tell you why he deserves to be the talent acquisition leader for this year. From his nomination, you can see all the amazing things that he achieved for us this year. That aligns 100% with the HRO aspiration for bold human resources practitioners who keep HR relevant and agile, focusing on business impact. Those who partnered with world-class vendors that help provide innovative, innovative solutions, advanced technologies, and best practices. You will find that Barry is all of that. On addition, he is an inspirational leader who cares about his team and our company. In his words, he always likes to go big. Let me close by congratulating Barry for being a finalist and expressing my gratitude for your interest in Barry and the Lindy Group. Enjoy your conference and please vote for Barry. Thank you. Hi, Jill Spofford with Pitney Bowes. I nominated Greg Karanastasis due to the significant impact that he's had on the Pitney Bowes business overall. Pitney Bowes being nearly 100 years old, we are undergoing our most significant transformation in our company's history, going from the physical to the digital cloud. And this takes a lot of talent needs. Greg was able to come in and bring our talent acquisition organization to the first quartile of effectiveness, according to both Hackett and CEB studies. And this has enabled Pitney Bowes to continue on our journey. So thank you, Greg, for your significant impact. I'm proud to nominate Jill Larson as Talent Acquisition Leader of the Year. Jill has come into Cisco and transformed our TA organization into a dynamic, fun-filled, innovating organization. And at Cisco, our edge doesn't come from our technology, it comes from our people. People like Jill who truly support and drive innovation across the organization so that we can provide a meaningful difference for Cisco. So I couldn't be more proud to nominate Jill Larson as TA Leader of the Year. Hi, I'm Taryn Owen, President of People Scout. I'm honored to nominate Kathy Scarlett, Vice President of Talent Acquisition at BMO Financial Group for HRO Today Talent Acquisition Leader of the Year. Kathy's vision and leadership have enabled BMO to embrace new digital channels put the candidate at the center of the recruitment experience and engage candidates in a personalized way to help attract and hire the very best people. These factors, among many others, have made BMO an employer of choice and Kathy a true HR superstar. Describe Mike in one word. Montana. What's he good at? Being a gate group grizzly. What's that? That's our flag football team. And how is that like work? Mm, he calls the plays, then he scrambles. Last year alone, he hired over 6,000 people, which was a 13% increase year over year in our hiring. He took 174 temp vendors down to one. And what's Mike's motto? Get her done. That's fantastic. I'm somewhat biased because I report to her and I think she's amazing, but just look at how far we've come since she started here. She's upgraded the team in terms of talent, technology, and processes. Why shouldn't she win? Mika manages to balance being a boss, a leader, a colleague, a friend, and a mentor. And there aren't many people who can do it quite as well as she can. She is a fantastic person to work with and for.
I'm Kerry Teagle, I'm Head of Client Services for our Atos account globally. And I'm here to nominate Kim Wells, Head of Recruitment in North American Operations for the Talent Acquisition Leading the Year. The selective use of outsourcing agencies and out of country or low cost country support has decreased the cost per hire at Atos by 15% over the past three years in the NAO region. The NAO Interns and Graduates Program has created a 2% per annum cost savings while creating new digital talent and bringing future leaders into the organization. A lot of tough choices through those videos. Great job, everybody. <laughs> Our 2017 Town Acquisition Innovation Leader is Michael Spear, Director, Town Acquisition and Development, Gate Group Airline Solutions. Labor management is a core component of the airline catering business. This industry is associated with high seasonal staffing fluctuations and extremely aggressive hiring targets. Michael effectively managed the labor fluctuations, reducing contingent staffing by over $1 million, and has made the labor management more efficient. He has implemented a new MSP, consolidating vendors from, well, you had about 174 or so, and you have how many today? One. One. Champion diversity hiring, implemented a long-term forecasting tool and a tax credit program. He now also leads the training and development function at Gate Group. Michael, congratulations. Well, this was certainly unexpected. Um, what a, the, the field of finalists was so impressive. I thought there was no chance, so I didn't prepare to say anything. <laughs> Um, but, uh, you know, thank you. And, and since this is innovation, I think uh, the most important thing when you're looking at innovation is, as leaders is to remove the fear of your people, empower them to come to you with ideas on how to change, improve, make process uh, better. And when you do that, you get results like we had last year uh, and the year before. And it's thanks to people like Lori Dalton, who takes my crazy ideas and says, run with them. What about this? Let's change it. Let's improve. And I do the same for my team. Whatever it is, bring it to me. Let's, let's try it. And when you do that, you get an opportunity to really innovate, improve, and succeed and excel. So this is, uh, again, surprising. Thank you very much. Congratulations to the winners and congratulations again to all of our finalists. I look forward to seeing each of you and all of our talent acquisition professionals attending the conference at 5.30 p.m. this evening at our VIP reception in the Crystal Room. I also want to once again thank our HO Today Talent Acquisition Leader of the Year program sponsor, Cielo, for their support. With Cielo, the sky's the limit. <clears throat>